Hi guys and welcome back to your next installment of 20 Minute Tuesdays with me, Russ Jones. Today we're going to focus solely on your core. Let's get to it. So our first exercise will be on our back. Get nice and comfy. Going to be working the focus more on the lower abs. I'm going to go up with one, up with two, and then three, two, one. We're off. Gently lower and raise. Exhale at the top. Lower and raise. Now I'm focused a little bit when we did those pelvic tilts and we had the contraction trying to push the lower back into the floor. Those are the muscles I'm trying to maintain contraction in right now. So this area just stays still while I move from the hip. Now if your heel doesn't touch the floor, that's not the end of the world. If you're a little bit tight in the hip or your core feels like it just won't allow that range, then don't force it. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and then we rest. Next exercise, I'm going to take my arms out wide. A little bit like the open book exercise, I'm going to have my legs up and then they're going to be doing the movement. So my lower half will be rotating while my upper half and my shoulders try and maintain contact with the floor. So leg up, leg up, feet crossed, soft knees, three, two, one, legs gently rotate. Pause, return to the top, exhale, go the other way, rotate, pause. Come to the top, exhale, rotate, keep pushing the arms into the floor to maintain control of the exercise. And then you should notice you go a little bit further with each repetition. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, and one. Feet go down. Right, now we're going to do an exercise called the Turkish Get Up, where you'd normally hold a weight aloft and go from lying to standing. We're only going to do the first portion where we do a diagonal crunch. So I've got my left leg straight, I've got my right leg bent, and I've got my right arm aloft. I'm going to come diagonally up onto my left elbow. In three, two, one. Off we go. So I use my stomach muscles to bring myself up and then all the way back down again. Elbow and lie down. I like to point up to remind me that this right hand is going to stay aloft, pointing north the whole time as I control myself up and control myself down. So I'm therefore not going straight up like a tradi traditional crunch exercise, but I'm using my obliques a little bit more to bring me into that position. Our obliques control the rotation, which is obviously a good thing for a golfer to work. Control the rotation. And core exercises, good for the health of the lower back, but also good for keeping us in position when we're lifting weights. Three, two, one, and back down. So now I just simply do the other side. Now you can progress to doing this holding a weight. So on the second round, just even if we hold our water bottle, you'll notice a bit of a difference. But for this first round, I just want you to practice the movement. So now my right leg is flat, my left leg stays flexed, my left side is up. So both sides on the same side should be up to begin with. Three, two, one, onto my elbow, up onto my hand, and then gently back down again. And back down. And you might notice, as we always do with left versus right, one leg, one arm exercises, one side feels slightly weaker than the other. That's okay. Sport and life tends to be fairly asymmetrical. So we get these subtle differences in strength on one side of the body, but it's our job in the gym to try and keep ourselves as neutral as possible. For the health of the skeletal system, three, two, one, and then relax. Next, we go for a good old static standard plank. Now, I like starting kneeling, just because I feel like I get myself in a better position with my spine, 
and then when I'm ready, I'm gonna lift those knees off to more of a traditional toe to elbow plank. So I'll come at this angle for you here. So I lie flat, forearms pointing forwards, knees down, lift, and then three, two, one, we lift the hips like so. And then control the breathing. So I might not talk as much on this one. I'm breathing, when I breathe in, I'm creating that pressure through the core and through the stomach. Stay strong on that inhale. Head position as well. You should be looking straight down with a nice neutral neck. So I feel like I'm tucking my chin in towards my, my throat, like so. And that lengthens the top of my neck. We've got three, two, one, and then down. So whereas the other core exercises we've done today have been involving more movement, that's why I wanted a nice static one. So we're always working rotation and then anti-rotation type exercises. Lastly, the bit everyone forgets when they think core, because we always think about our six pack and our stomach in the mirror, is everything behind us. So we're gonna do a skydive. Always nice to balance out what we've done on the front. So arms down by your side, three, two, one. I'm gonna lift, take my arms out a fraction, and now rotate the palms like so. So I feel like I'm going thumbs up. So I've got my arms at around 45 degrees. And again, big deep breaths. Inhale, fill the body with pressure. And then as I exhale, I lower down slightly. Inhale, fill the body with pressure. And slowly exhale. And just repeat. Get nice and high on that inhale as the body gets stronger. We're stronger when we inhale. That's why stretching, we should exhale and relax. Three, two, one, and ease off there. Right, you got a 15 second warning. Grab yourself a little drink and then we'll do all of those exercises where I'll show you how we can make it a fraction more difficult. Back onto our back. Leg lowering, nice and simple. Way to make this one harder, two legs. Three, two, one. So I go one leg down, like before. Second leg down, like before. And now both legs, about halfway, and back up. Go back to the first leg. I call these ABCs, nice and simple to remember. Second leg is B, and then both legs would be C. A, B, and I've got my hands right where I should be working. So my, my fingers are actually pressing into my lower abdominals. So remind me where I should be contracting. A, B, and C. Last 15 seconds, team. You can always just stick with alternate legs if, if the C is too hard. So it depends on the length or the weight of your legs. Three, two, one, and rest. Good, so then on the rotation ones, I'm actually just gonna pause for longer. That's how I'm gonna make this one a little bit harder. So legs are up, feet are crossed. Three, two, one. I go over and stretch, pause, and up. Rotate, stretch, pause, and up. Let's see if I can pause for three seconds on this one. Three, two, one. And then three seconds this side. Three, two, one. Let's go again. Last one, one second each side on the last one. Pause, and then the other way. Pause, and finish there. Good, so there's a lot of work on the lower abdominals and those obliques, so now we go for the sit-up version. Remember I said we'll grab our water on the second round to make it a little bit more tricky to simulate holding a weight. Three, two, one, I'm up, and I'm down. 
I'm up and I'm down. Trying to keep the legs as quiet as possible and just fire the core, fire the bread basket and keep the arm as north as possible the whole time. And the key thing here where people go wrong is they try to go traditionally, they've done sit-ups or crunches in the past and they try to sit up straight. Whereas in this exercise, you've got to use this arm that's on the floor and come diagonally over as you rise up. Four, three, two, and one. And then we do the same on the other side. So my right leg goes flat, left leg bent, left arm up in the air. And then four, three, two, one. Off we go. Onto the elbow and up. And then gently back down again. Onto the elbow and up. And gently back down. So hopefully you can already feel that working you a bit harder, particularly because it's on the second round. And you're just holding that light object. So you can imagine if you added a, a small weight, three or four kilo kettlebell or a dumbbell to this exercise, how difficult that would then become. But it's a goodie. And then progressing that through the full Turkish get up over time would be something to aim for. We've got seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Water goes down. We're not going to have a drink just yet. We will do. So my plank. Now, what I find a little bit harder than the static plank here, messing with your nervous system, like we're turning the, the dial up and down, is I'm going to go from knees down to knees up to knees down to knees up without my spine moving at all. And that's going to be my goal anyway. So in five, four, three, two, one. Off we go. So I lift the knees, replace the knees. Lift the knees, replace the knees, like so. So I go from an easier kneeling plank to the tougher traditional plank, whilst trying to maintain a really good line from my pelvis through to my skull. What we don't want to see is as I go up, that the hips boop, go up like so. So I try and avoid that happening if you can trying to get you a good set position on your knees and then see if you've got the strength to maintain that position as those knees rise up. Four, three, two, and one. And then we're down. So then last we'll go for the skydive. I'm gonna roll the arms. So I had you roll the palms outwards on the first round. Let's see if I can rotate the arms the entire time I'm in that skydive. So I come down, arms down by my side. Bring them out to 45 degrees, palms down. Three, two, one, lift. Rotate palms away. Rotate palms up. Palms away, palms up. Now if you've got a fairly strong core and lower back, you could try this as well with the legs off. Takes a little bit more glute. And you might feel the hamstrings working a bit on that one. As always, you try and progress something that feels too stressful, go back down to feet on the floor if you want to. Last 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Let's go back to a nice, Low back position to finish that one off. And then that's your core through two rounds. There you go guys, a little core workout that you can throw in there whenever you like. So core is important for health, keeping posture, but also maintaining positions in other exercises in the gym. And it's gonna help you swing hard, stay healthy. We'll see you next time.